Nais po natin kilalanin ang ilan sa mga kumakatawan sa ating mga guro na kasama natin sa araw na ito. We have with us today representatives from the Department of Education, Alliance of Concerned Teachers, Teachers Dignity Coalition, and the Philippine Public School Teachers Association. The victory belongs to you and to all the youth you embrace and enrich with your service. Isang magandang balita po para sa ating mga gurong bayani. Dahil sa wakas, tanaw na natin ang katuparan ng pangako at pangarap natin para sa kanila. Our dear teachers have long waited for the passage of this measure that uh, institution, in, institutionalizes the granting of the teaching allowance. Simulat sa pamasapul pa lamang atin ang kinikilala ang kanilang hindi mapapantayang sakripisyo at pagkalinga sa ating mga mag-aaral sa loob o labas man ng paaralan. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, it is an honor for your Committee on Civil Service, Government Organization, and Professional Regulation to present the Bicameral Conference Committee Report on the Disagreeing Provisions of Senate Bill No. 1964 and House Bill No. 9682. In the interest of time, I would like to uh, to move that the joint explanation of the Bicameral Conference Committee on the Disagreeing Provision be spread into the journal and report of the Senate. The highlights of the Bicameral Conference Committee are as follows. The conferees agreed to use the Senate and House versions as the working draft. Section 1 and Section 7 as well as the title of the Senate version was adopted as Section 1 of the Reconciled Bill. The short title of the bill is Kabalikat sa Pagtuturo Act. Section 2 and 5 of both of the Senate and House versions were consolidated, amended, and adopted as Section 2 of the Reconciled Bill. Section 3, 4, 6, and 9 of the House version were adopted. From Teaching Supplies Allowance, it is now to be known as Teaching Allowance to be able to more comprehensively the instruments for teachings. Sa mga tuwid, come next year, doble na po ang matatanggap na Teaching Allowance ng ating mga guro. Imbis na 5,000, sila po ay makakatanggap na ng 10,000 pesos. I am thankful to our counterparts in the House of Representatives, the, the chair of their contingent, Representative Roman Romulo, and their members, Representative Toff de Venecia, Representative Lani Mercado Rivilla, Representative Stella Kimbo, and Representative Franz Castro, for being one with us to pass a legislation responsive to the welfare of our teachers. I extend my gratitude to my fellow Senate conferees to the Bicameral Conference Committee, Senator Wynne Gatsalian, and my Minority Leader, Senator Coco Pimental III, for their patience and insights in harmonizing the versions. Mayos nating naitawid ang pinakapuso ng panukala, ang kilalanin si na ma'am at sir na kanilang, sa kanilang dedikasyon. Nagpapasalamat po tayo sa mga kasamahan natin dito Nakasama din nating nagakda ng panukalang ito, Senator Robin Padilla, Senator Sani Angara, Senator Bongo, Senator Jingo Estrada, Senator Mark Villar, Senator Bato De La Rosa, Senator Win Gatsalian, Senator Grace Po, Senator Tol Tolentino, Senator Villar, and our leadership, Majority Leader Joel Villanueva, Senate uh, President Pro Tempore Loren Legarda, and Senate President Mick Subiri who helped shepherd this measure as well. Taus-puso din po nating uh, pasasalamat sa ating mga kasamahan sa Kamara de Representante. Tayo ay pinagbuklod ng isang hangarin para sa kanilang kapakanan. Sa totoo lang po, ay nagkaroon po ko ng kaunting pangamba na baka matagal lang pa bago magisna ng umaga ng pangarap na ito. Ngunit sa kabila nito, pinatunayan nating tapat at dalisay ang ating tungkulin sa ating bayan. Ang hamon po sa ating lahat ay patuloy na maging kabalikat ng ating mga guro 
sa mismong hubugin ang ating susunod na henerasyon. Naway gamitin nating inspirasyon ang walang maliw, walang patid at walang pagod na pagmamahal at kabayanihan nila para sa ating mga kabataan. Sa ating mga guro, nakaukit na po sa mga pahina ng kasaysayan ang inyong kadakilaan. We see you and ultimately honor your heroism and selflessness in molding the youth of our nation and nurturing their future. Kayo ay haligi ng ating lipunan at tanglaw ng ating kinabukasan. Mr. President, this is just one of the many steps of the steps that the Committee on Civil Service, Government Reorganization and Professional Regulation is looking into to advance the welfare of our almost a million strong public school teachers. Asahan niyo pong hindi ito ang wakas bagkos ay simula pa lamang ng marami pa nating mga hakbang at uh, pagsasamahan sa walang mintis na pagsulong ng mga kahalintulad na reforma. This is my humble submission that this bicameral conference committee report on the disagreeing provisions of Senate Bill Number no. 1964 and House Bill Number no. 9682 on the kabalikat sa pagtuturo be ratified by this chamber.